What is Cushing's disease in dogs? What symptoms should you look for? How is Cushing diagnosed in dogs and what is the treatment for it? When a dog starts drinking more water than usual and pees more frequently, it can be a sign that something abnormal is happening. 1. First, what is Cushing's disease in dogs? Dogs with Cushing's disease have a problem with their adrenal glands, two small glands located in front of each kidney. The most striking symptom in the disease is excessive urination and simultaneously drinking huge amounts of water. As the disease progresses, dogs lose muscle, weaken, skin becomes thin and hair loss is seen on the flanks, neck and perineum, the area around the genitals and the rectum. You may also notice gasping, increased hunger, and belly appearance. 2. What dogs are at risk for Cushing's disease? Cushing's disease in dogs is more common in adult dogs, usually 8 years or older. It is also seen more frequently in certain breeds, such as Beagles, Boston Terriers, Boxers, Dachshunds, Dandy Dinmont Terriers, German Shepherd Dogs, Poodles, Yorkshire Terriers, and Small Terriers. 3. Diagnosis of Cushing's Disease Unfortunately, the disease can be difficult to diagnose and requires complex tests. If your veterinarian suspects the disease in your dog, the first step will be blood and urine tests. If your veterinarian sees something abnormal in these tests, the next step is usually a special test called a stimulation test. For this test, your veterinarian will draw your dog's blood to control his cortisol levels and then give him an injection of adrenocorticotropic hormone. A few hours later, your veterinarian will extract the blood from your dog again to try cortisol again. If your dog is diagnosed with Cushing's disease, other tests, including ultrasound, can help your veterinarian discover the cause of the disease, which will determine the treatment. 4. Treatment of Cushing's disease in dogs. More than 90% of dogs with this disease have a benign tumor of the pituitary gland. Being extremely small and does not tend to spread, it does not cause a physical problem. Most dogs with pituitary-dependent disease are treated with medication. If an adrenal tumor is the cause of the disease, your veterinarian will want to perform additional tests to confirm whether the tumor is cancerous or benign, non-cancerous. Surgery to remove an adrenal tumor may be an option. If the tumor is cancerous, the prognosis is bad. Once treatment is started, the symptoms of the disease dissipate slowly. The first thing is that the consumption of alcohol decreases dramatically. Skin lesions take longer to resolve. The average survival time of a dog with Cushing's disease is approximately two years, but this statistic does not mean that it causes death. In fact, dogs are already geriatric when Cushing's disease is diagnosed. If you liked this video, share it in your WASP, in addition to your social networks, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Now please write us a comment. I send you a big hug. Do not forget to also ask for advice in the link of the description of this video, where it says click here. Thank you.